Hi, in this video, let's look at uh, scale drawing. I will focus on the area of the object and the area of the drawing. Now, before I show you how to solve these few questions, let's look at this one first. Now, let's say I have an object which is square with the side length of two centimeters. This object is drawn to a, to a uh, is drawn using this scale. One is to one with three. This is drawing. When you look at the scale here, you know that the side length is going to times three, right? So if let's say you don't know how to determine the side length of the drawing, you actually can use calculation. Some students look at this, they don't know whether this become larger or smaller. If you are having this problem also, you can do it as well. Now, always remember drawing object join on the top, uh, object at the bottom. So drawing, I don't know, I just let it be X, drawing, object, drawing, object. So this one, you press your calculator, you should be able to get tray. Now two times three is equal to six. So from here, I know that this is equal to six centimeters. Okay, if one side times three all will uh, change in the same manner, all the side will also multiply by three. Now, you try to look at, they are, uh, try to compare their up, uh, area. So the two times two, you will get four square centimeters. And this six times six is equal to 36 square centimeters. Do you notice that this one, you times three, because it's, because of the scale used is one is to one with three. Therefore, the side length uh, is are going to multiply by three. So you look at their area. It's not times three, but times three square. So why we have a square over here? Now, try to think, how do we get the area of an object? It's actually the product of two measurements, right? So this one, is actually equal to two times three. And this is the same thing because this is also two centimeters, so two times three. When you're multiplying these two numbers together to get the area of the scale drawing, it becomes like this, two times three time two times three. Okay, the two here is from here, the two here is from, is from here. And do you notice that we have two times of three? This side you time three, this side you time three. Therefore, you have the, that's why the the area of a drawing you need to multiply by three square, not three. Okay. Now, sometime the question you will give us the area of the object when you find the area of the drawing, or sometime the, the question will give us the area of the drawing, ask to find the area of the object. We also can use this formula to help us to solve this type of question. Okay, let me write the formula over here. Area of drawing equal to k squared time area of object. So k is the scale factors. Now, actually, this formula is for enlargement which you are going to learn it in the futures. Uh, enlargement is a type of transformation. Now, the, the formula is actually area of image. But since that, since this chapter is talking about uh, scale drawing, right? Therefore, I change it become drawing. It still work for this type of question. Now, how do we determine the K is actually very simple. If the scale, let me show you some example and this k if the scale is 1 is to 2 the k will be 1 over 2 if the scale is 1 is to 3 the k will be 1 over 3 if scale is 1 is to 1 over 2 the k will be 1 over 1 over 2 which is equal to 2 if the scale is 1 is to 1 over 3 like this example then the k will be 1 over 1 over 3, which is equal to 3. Now, let me show you. Is this 
formula correct area of drawing which is equal to uh, 36 is equal to k square what is k 1 over 1 over 3 which is equal to 3 therefore is equal to 3 square times area of object which is equal to 4 now 3 square you will get 9 9 times 4 you will get 36 okay now let's see how do we use this formula to help us to solve some question now let's look at this frequent uh this first question a square with an area of 16 square centimeters is drawn to a scale of 1 is 1 over 3. Now we know that the side length actually times 3, right? Because 1 is 1 over 3, this means that drawing actually larger compared with the object. Now find the area of the scale drawing. So be careful. You know that the side length times 3, but you cannot take this area times 3 to get the area of the scale drawing. But you have to take this area times 3 square. Okay, now I'm going to show you two ways to solve this question. Let's look at the first method. Since I know the question tells us that this is a square, so how do we get? Let me draw a diagram for you. Now I have a square over here. Square means that all the side length are the same. The area is 16 square centimeters. So how do I get the side length? The side length, you just need to square root the, square root the 16, you will get 4. Right? Now, once you have the side length of the, of the object, you can easily calculate the side length of the drawing. Times 3, right? So 4 times 3 is equal to 12 centimeters okay let's say if you look at this scale you don't know whether it become larger or smaller you can do it this way drawing i don't know i just let bx drawing object drawing object okay so this is equal to 3 x is equal to 3 times 4 which is equal to 12 centimeters now since I know that the side length of the drawing is equal to 12 centimeters, so how do we get the area? Area of the drawing is equal to 12 times 12, which is equal to 144 square centimeters. Okay, now let me show you another way uh, using the formula that I showed just now to help you solve this double question. Let me write the formula for you first. Area of drawing is equal to k squared time area of object. Area of drawing, we are going to find it. k, 1 over 1 over 3. Let me write 1 over 1 over 3 for you first so that you, you can see clearer how do I get the k. Don't forget to square it. I'm area object, which is equal to 16. Okay, this is equal to 3. 3 square, this whole thing is equal to 3. 3 square, you will get 9 times 16. You will still getting the same answer. So this is a way how do we use this formula to help us to solve this type of question. Now, let's look at the second question. Given the area of the scale drawing of an object. So this is drawing. Object, I don't know. The scale drawing is drawn using a scale of 1 is 2, find the area of the object. So object, the area object, I don't know. The area of drawing given by the quotient is equal to 2.5 square centimeters. Okay, and the scale used is 1 over 2. So I'm going to use this formula to help me to solve this question. Let me write the formula again for you. Area of drawing is equal to k squared time area of object. Now, area of drawing mm, is 2.5, right? Given the area of the scale drawing. Okay, this is 2.5. K. 1 over 2. 
don't forget to square it. And area object, I'm going to find the area object. So this is 1 over 4. Okay, so A is equal to 2.5 divided by 1 over 4. You can press your calculator, 2.5 divided by 1 over 4. Or if you don't want, you can change it, become multiplication. Just flip over the numerator and the denominator. Okay, so A is equal to 10. Now from here, I know that area of the object is equal to 10 square centimeter. Okay, now let's look at the last question that I'm going to uh, that I'm going to discuss in this video. The area of the object, the area of an object and its scale drawing are 20 square centimeters and 180 square centimeters. Find the scale used. Now I don't know the, the shape of the object and the drawing. I don't know whether they are rectangle, triangle or square, but no problem. I still can use this formula to help me to get the scale. Object. The area is 20 square centimeters. Drawing. The area is 180 square centimeter. Okay, let me write the formula again. Area of drawing is equal to k square time area of object. Area of drawing, which is equal to 180 k square. So k, I don't know, I want to find the k because I want to find the scale. Area object, oh sorry, this is J E C T. Okay, area objects is 20. Now I move the 20 over here. Both sides divided by 20. So this is equal to 9. K squared equal to 9. So K is equal to square root of 9. K is equal to 3. So when K is equal to 3, it means that the scale is 3 is to 1. Because 3 is actually equal to 3 or 1, right? But normally, the question will request you to give your scale for scale drawing 1 is to something. If the question requests so, so I'm going to change this. How do I change this 3 is to 1 to 1 is to something? So both sides divided by 3, right? This divided by 3, do the same thing for another 1. So this will give us 1. This is 1 over 3. Okay, try to check if this is correct. When you see 1 is 1 over 3, this means that the side length times 3. If the side length times 3, the area is going to times 3 square, right? Now, 20 times 3 square, is that equal to 180? Yes, 20 times 9, which is equal to 180. Okay? Okay, that's all for this video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.